Hey everybody, I'm Tom Cheswick. Thanks so much for joining me again. These are a few images from a workshop I recently gave, and today we're going to edit one of the images. We're using On One Photo Raw 2023. Let's take a look at these two images. The image to the left is the original image straight out of the camera. The image to the right is what we're going to achieve in a few easy steps using On One Photo Raw. Let's get to it. First thing we're going to do is take the image into develop. Shortcut keystroke is the letter D as in dog. That opens it up in develop. First thing I always do is go up to camera profiles. We are working with a raw image. We can look at the different presets. <clears throat> that one's pretty nice, vivid. Awesome. I prefer a more flat looking image. Camera standard looks great. It does add just a touch of contrast, but the colors are pretty natural looking. We'll start there. So let's we'll set the black and white points and we'll be able to see the clippings when we do Option or Alt J. And now we can see where those black points are and also the white points. And leave the white points alone. If you double click on the word, it resets it. Let's reset the black as well. What I do is slide it to the left until I see the blacks just start coming in. You see it on the leather jacket and on his pants. Um, that's a little strong, that's clipping too much. I like it just barely clipping. So around five is an awesome start. So that adds a little contrast as well. Now judging the exposure once my black point is set, it is a little bright. <clears throat> I'm going to bring down the exposure just a touch. Negative 0.4 looks great. Awesome. All right, so now we have the develop part. Let's go into the effects and decide what we're going to do with this image. Taking a quick look at it, I'd really like to separate our model um, from the background a bit more. Two things that really help do this is to add some dynamic contrast to him and blur the background. So we're making him sharper and the background softer. We'll have a real nice range there. So let's go into effects, add a filter, dynamic contrast, and right off the bat, it looks great, but it is applying it to everything. So we're going to go up to the mask. We'll use mask AI. We'll select the subject and hit apply. And what that actually does is mask him out. So now we're sharpening the background and leaving him alone. And that's not what we want to do. So all we have to do is invert the mask. And now we have that added contrast to him. Here's before, here is after. So that looks great. Next, we're going to go into blur because we want to soften the background. Again, that's adding it to everything, but we already know if we go into our mask and select AI, select people, we know we're going to mask him out. Perfect. So now we have the soft background in sharp with the dynamic contrast. Um, but the blur is a little bit too much. If we look at the edge of his jacket, we can kind of see that around the head as well. So all we need to do is go up to the opacity, adjust the amount of that filter to our liking, and just kind of going back and forth and seeing where we like. That looks great to me. Perfect. So right now we have the image looking pretty much just how we want. Colors are perfect because there was the custom white balance used. But just because you have perfect color doesn't mean you can't play with the colors for a more artistic rendering. So let's go into add filter, go to LUTs, 
and there's quite a few LUTs that come already installed. They're also broken up into categories. So if we're looking for black and white LUTs, they're all together. Color grade and color pop, vintage matte, all look cool. I'm going to look at color grading for this image. And then all those color graded LUTs are grouped together. And if you just go over the name, it instantly applies it so you can kind of see what it looks like. Lots of neat looks here. And for those, I think I am going to go with Comfort. That looks awesome. And right there, we are done. We could just go add maybe a vignette. Big softy. Take it down quite a bit. And we have a great image here. So we went from this to here. Thanks again for joining me for one of my quick tutorials. My name is Tom Cheswick. Please like, subscribe, and join me for future videos. Thanks. Have a great day.